you assess the offense's performance as a whole? Um, some good things, but not good enough. Uh, I thought we had some opportunities. I thought we came out real good. Um, got all the way down to the two, didn't put it in. Um, the next drive, um, had an explosive, fumbled on the first play. Um, then we had two three and outs there. Um, I believe the third quarter was just like the beginning of the first quarter. I think we went all the way right down and got a field goal again, got a score there. That's the ch- kind of the challenge with this team. Um, they're a team that does bend. You can move the ball on them, um, but they're tough in those situations and um, got to be better. How important was Juwan Jennings in the fourth quarter? Um, how was he in the fourth quarter? Oh, huge. I mean, um, I think that was one of the big third downs. I forget it was like third and seven or something. Um, we had, I believe it was Kittle over the middle, then Ayuk deep, and they just sunk under everyone. And Juwan just to catch that and move the chains. I believe earlier in the game, too, he had a good one over the middle where he carried the guy um, to move the chain. So um, Juwan's, you know, he's been great for us, did an awesome job last year, and it's good to get him back in this game. Injuries, none in the game that I have yet. Um, Danny Gray uh, rolled his ankle in pregame warmups, um, but that's it. Go ahead. Defense shut him out in the second half. Uh, we're impressed him most with the. Um, just them getting off the field. I mean, um, had a couple mistakes in the first half, um, got them going a little bit. Um, but the second half, just like two weeks ago in our last game, um, defense hunkered down. Didn't seem like they made any mistakes. And uh, especially there at the end, the way to finish it, their, their last two drives was great. 41 rushing. Like some of that was quarterback stakes. But did you have a number of rushing uh, carries you wanted on in this game? Um, we wanted to run the ball a lot. We didn't think we'd be able to get that many. Um, just how good they are in their short yardage and some of their run situations. Their offense is pretty good at holding the clock. Um, so we weren't expecting to get that much. Um, I think kind of, you know, the way our defense went in the second half, um, we got it back a bunch of times. Um, and some of our longer drives converting some of those short yardages allowed us to get it. But anytime you get that much, I, mean, I, I don't know if we were four yards a carry or three point. I think we went to, I think we might have gone down with the, the kneels at the end, but um, we had some big ones, um, which you can get, but that's a tough team, um, how they mix it up and stuff, and uh, they have a good way of getting you, getting you off the field, and that's why we struggled, I thought, down there in the red zone, just being 2 of 5 there, and which kind of plays into their hand. That's similar how it was last week watching their Atlanta game, but um, for the defense, uh, those last two drives come up big, and um, for us to be able to keep sticking with them, I was real proud of our team. Did you use Elijah that much? Worry about a handful of third and longs in this game. You've had success doing that this year. What, why, why are you so successful on those situations? Um, I mean, I think we got. I think Jimmy made some big plays on third and long. From what I remember, I don't know how many we got, um, but I know the one that he hit Ray Ray on down the side. That was an off schedule play. Did a great job finding him. Um, and then the one to George over the middle was a really good job. A great throw by him, um, progressing to number two, coming across, and a good play by George. But um, some of those long ones kept us going, and um, and we're, he's always doing a hell of a job with those sneaks. Were you expecting to use Elijah as much as you did in this game, or was it you saw it during the week, or did after his first few carries, did you think, or we're just going to keep using him? No, we, we had a – I mean, we, we were hoping um, – that the carries could come out about even. That, that kind of was our goal um, before the game started, um, was to have a goal to have about even carries, but you never know how the game goes. And um, then at the end there, when we were just trying to hammer it down, um, we were just feeling them, so we kept them out there. Kyle, uh, the fans, media, even some of your players were all talking about all this offensive power, firepower that we finally had. Um, is it going to take, I mean, obviously you wanted that to hammer the performance, but. You had 13 points in the first 52 minutes or whatever. Is it going to take a little while just to figure everything out and everyone to kind of gel and work together? Um, I mean, I think that could have happened today. I mean, I just, I don't get too caught up. And I mean, we had 400 yards offense. We were two for five in the red zone. Um, I think we got a lot more points if uh, we can score a touchdown on those last play. I mean, on those plays instead of field goals. Um, I didn't feel like it wasn't that we couldn't move the ball or do stuff like that. I felt like guys made a lot of plays. I felt... Um, I don't know how many we averaged to play, but I know we were moving it. Um, we were the better offense today. Um, we just got to score more touchdowns. And um, I mean, that's about certain plays and trying to get in there. Uh, what was your tell you on the Drake Greenlaw play? Do you feel like he should have been ejected? No, I didn't think so at all. Kind of actually blew my mind. Um, I understand the penalty. Um, I, I totally get that right at the third down marker. He was on his shoulder, but um, I got to learn what that is. I, I, I get how it is with the penalties and stuff because um, I, I think he did hit his helmet. I haven't seen a replay or we'll see when I get home tonight and watch it again. But um, 
I, I didn't know you got, I thought there had to be intent and something unnecessary. And, and that was a big play right there. And for us to lose Greenlaw for the whole game off that, I mean, I had, that, that really shocked me. So hopefully they can teach us that so we can understand why we lost one of our players. No, uh, no. I mean that's that, that comes from New York. Oh, the Chargers kind of rolled down the field on that first drive. What what changed with the defense? Was it something strategic, or did they just sort of get? Angry? No, they had they had a couple big passes, and then we had a zone dog pressure, and um, we ended up not carrying the corner, um, and so they got a big explosive there. Um, you know, we weren't perfect the rest of the game, but that, those were we made a couple big mistakes on that first drive when they had the right play on, and um, that's what happens. Well, no, Hufunga, it seems that at the end of these games, this is a, he keeps intercepting balls to, to end the game. Just kind of how have you seen his development? Um, I, I mean, I think Huff came out playing real well this year to start. Um, yeah, I think he's had some ups and downs as he goes, like they all do. Um, but the more Huff plays, the more, you know, I know he had a couple setbacks when, I want to say after Atlanta, just getting a little banged up, missing a lot of, the practices the next two weeks. Um, but Huff seemed like he played well. And I know he'd love to have that touchdown back on the on the first drive with that one zone dog. Um, but to come out and finish it with the pick, and we definitely don't want to watch Herbert do many more downs than that. Well, weeks different, Kyle, but do, and there was a bye week in between, but two straight was do you feel like this team has momentum? Do you want them to feel like they have momentum? Um, yeah, I want them to feel like that. I mean, I thought um, just overall, or you know, I thought we played our best team game um, and just cleanest game versus um, the Rams a couple weeks ago. So that was a great momentum that we felt. Just I thought it was the first time we had done that consistently in all three phases. Um, really wanted to pick up off that this week. Um, I thought we had our opportunities to. Um, just started out, you know, gave up those big plays on the opening game. And we got to an answer right away with that touchdown. But we ended up getting to fourth and goal, I think, on the two. Um, so, you know, I, I was proud of our team today. Like, I, I want to I play better. I want to blow people out. I want to score every time we go. Um, but that, those are the type of games that that team is really good at winning, uh, the Chargers. You know, I think they've had, I think, four out of their five games um, or their wins. They've been, been behind by two scores. You watched Atlanta last week and how they went up and down the field and moved the ball a lot. But those guys are tough to get in the end zone against. And uh, they did that to us today. Um, but we still found a way to win, which was so imperative to still hold them in the second half so we could keep playing that way. And just really some of the big third downs our guys made um, were the reasons we were able to get all those runs in and kind of control the clock and um, eliminate our turnovers there in the second half. A lot, of players after coming back, a lot of players after coming back from some time off take some time to get back and get the rest off. But Elijah seemed to hit the ground running. What was it about him that he was able to do that? When Elijah is healthy, he can run the ball. Um, it doesn't take him long. Um, you know, we always want to see for ourselves when he comes out in practice, but just seeing him Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, I mean, he looked um, ready to go. And once that, that was what we're hoping. We know we got a real good back in Elijah. We know we just brought in a real good one with Christian. And um, it's nice to kind of make those guys a one-two punch and um, keep Debo as the bonus. Um, but I feel both of those guys need a, another guy to help them. And um, it's good that it doesn't always have to be our receiver. Uh, what, does it, what does it mean to you to see your team rally this game and also against the Rams show that you have that comeback ability? Um, I mean, I, I love seeing that. I mean, I, I know our numbers were um, bad on that, so that's cool that they did that. But um, it's it didn't feel like a huge comeback win. Uh, it just felt like the whole game was kind of the same. I get when you score field goals and they get a touchdown, then that score um, isn't like that. But I mean, I almost treated it like a 0-0 game all the way there to the end. and. Um, and it kind of was. It was always a one-score game. You guys only allowed 51 yards on the ground. How, how much did that sort of set the tone for your defense to not let them get any momentum, any rhythm on the ground? Um, I mean, that's, that's big. Um, you know, I mean, they don't always run the ball a lot. Um, so it is, you know, that's not always how they win. They mix it up a lot. But, like, we, we knew um, Eckler was, was the guy. Um, whether you're handing it off to him or hitting him on checkdowns, it's almost the same thing. And uh, he's a really good player. Um, I mean, when it's second and long and stuff, they don't need to run it because Herbert's going to make you um, defend everyone deep. And then they got him right underneath. And he's very good at getting up in there and getting yards. And um, very similar to what we try to get with our players, too. So uh, it was a challenge throughout the whole game. You never get comfortable with them, but uh, we were able to pull it off at the end. Your first drive, did you think about going for it? You had a pretty methodical drive all the way down. Yeah, I definitely thought about going for it. Um, but uh, I think we lost yards on the third down. 
Um, did we run it there on third and goal from the two? You guys don't remember? Aren't you guys watching and writing stuff down? Like, I know, but I also called 70 other plays and, um, and don't have notes in a desk. All right, yeah, we, we called it on third and goal from the two because we were planning on going for it, but I thought I think we lost some yards, and I wanted to make sure we got points, and it was kind of the same thing there at the end. Uh, we went goal, not goal line. We went, we ran it on third and two at the end, um, and I was hoping we can get inside one, and then we we're going to go for the touchdown to try to end it, um, but we lost a yard right there also. All right, guys. All right, guys, thanks.